So if the word interval, these numbers of 2D array sound and look very confusing to you, let's try to make it simpler. So what it means is, it let us talk in terms of time blocking. Imagine there's a meeting room which you have booked from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. We can try to translate this into this. And then there's another meeting room which is booked from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Mathematically or logically, what is the reason? The reason is this end, like if this is denoted as the end pointer, this is the start. The end pointer of this interval is less than the start pointer of the new interval. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Code with Ease by Varsha. Today we are going to solve this lead code medium question insert interval. So these type of questions are based on a coding pattern on intervals. This is going to be the second coding question based on intervals. One of them we have already uploaded called merge interval. The concepts we have learned already in that question will also be reused in this. So let's take a look at the problem statement. So you are given an array of non-overlapping intervals where, where the intervals represent the start and end of the interval and the intervals are sorted in ascending order by the start value. So you can assume that if this is a 2D array, so this is the start, that is the 0th ARR of 0 and this is the end. So they're all start, so they're all sorted on the value of the start, sorted in ascending order. You're also given an interval, the new interval, which represents the start and end of another interval. So what we need to do is we need to insert this new interval into the given list of intervals that we have or a 2D array of intervals such that the intervals still remain sorted, still remain sorted on the basis of the start value and the intervals should not have any overlapping intervals, which means we need to merge the intervals. So that is the reason I told that you might need to understand that question merge intervals first and then come to this question because it will be, the concepts will be borrowed from that question. So if the word interval, these numbers of 2D array sound and look very confusing to you, let's try to make it simpler. So what it means is, it let us talk in terms of time blocking. So if there are a, there is a 2D array, which consists of 1 and 3 and 6 and 9. Imagine there is a meeting room which you have booked from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. We can try to translate this into this. And then there is another meeting room which is booked from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. It becomes more relatable when we say like that. Now you need to book another slot. So these are the times in which you have booked the rooms and you need to book another slot from 5 p.m. for 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. And this is what you have to adjust with the existing slots. How can you do this? The question is how can I accommodate this new time schedule of 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. within my existing slots? So to do that, the conditions to us is the start time should still remain sorted. So over here, it is in sorted in ascending order 1, then 6. So this should be honored. So this sequence should be honored. Second is there shouldn't be any overlapping interval. So what is an overlapping interval? This is an example of an overlapping interval. So, you are, so your room is booked from 1 to 3. And you have to book another slot from 2 to 5. So 1 to 3 and 2 to 5. So 1 to 3 and 2 to 5 are clearly overlapping. Yeah, 2 to 5 falls within 1 to 3. So this, this is a clear case of an overlap. So this is something which we shouldn't have in our output. So we cannot say 1 to 3, 2 to 5 and 6 to 9 because there's an overlap. So if there's an overlap, what we need to do? We have to merge it. What is the strategy to merge it? The strategy to merge it is very simple as we can see. If something is booked from 1 to 3 and we need to accommodate another schedule for how long the room needs to be booked, what is going to be the new timing? It should be from 1 p.m. Of course, it has to start because the meeting begins at 1. And the last time when the meeting ends is 5. So if I book the room from 1 to 5, both the slots will be covered and I will not have any overlapping interval. So this will add to my output. Coming to 6 to 9. 6 to 9 is exclusive of 1 to 5 because 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. And then 6 is a different hour. So these are exclusive or disjoint intervals. So that doesn't, so that is, so if that kind of a scenario happens, we don't have to merge it. So 6 to 9 will be again added to my output. So eventually I have to output a 2D array itself. So my first array in the array will be 1 to 5 after merging these two intervals, these two. And then the next array is going to be the next interval, which is anyway independent or exclusive of the previous interval. So this is going to be my final output. Now let's try to take the second example and understand the thought process of solving this. This was simple because it just had two intervals. Right, so like we discussed, this is the intervals which is given in the second example, and this is the new interval which we need to out, which we need to insert in these list. Again, we can visualize this in the form of time slots. So I'll write the output over here. So I'll take the time slots like this, one to two, and this is the new interval that we have is four to eight. Right. So what was the thing which we have? The constraint that we have with us is 
the sorted order has to remain in ascending and merge if found if anything is found as overlapping we need to merge it okay so starting with the first interval so this is a 2d array like i said so this is going to be the outer array so we are going to iterate through every array and in java how do we iterate through every array is like we use a loop and then we point to which row so this can considered as row 0 row 1 row 2 row 3 row 4 so one variable is going to keep track of the rows so starting with the first element that we have 1 and 2 and we have to compare every element that we have in the array with a new one and we have to keep this two constraint in mind so what we have to do if we have to check if 1 and 2 and 4 2 4 and 8 are overlapping are they overlapping they are not overlapping why do we know that because when we talk of time interval by seeing we know 1 to 2 pm is a different slot 4 to 8 but mathematically or logically what is the reason the reason is this end like if this is denoted as the end pointer is the start the end pointer of this interval is less than the start pointer of the new interval so if this end pointer is less than or equal to the start pointer of the new interval that is of this then we can safely add it to our output we can safely add this as in the output because they are now non overlapping or disjoint they are not going to interfere with this so i don't have to merge it so this is done i can remove it now 4 to 8 will be evaluated with the next element in our 2d array so or the intervals array now again the same comparison needs to happen so remember this is happening in a loop now again 5 and 4 is being compared is 5 lesser than 4 no it is not So in this case, there is a possibility to merge this. So our first condition is, we need to run a loop for the intervals that we have, and compare. I can say that ARR of whatever the row you have, which is going to be variable, with the end pointer, or I can denote it by one because we know that. Zero and one, right? So the first element is zero index, and the second element is one, and there is always going to be two elements in every array. So I can say that if this element is particularly less than whatever my new intervals first element is, and new interval is an array, so we are just taking this as zero and one. So if this is less, I'll run the loop. If it is less, I will add to my output like I have already added one and two. So this is my first condition. and this is going to happen in a loop so now 3 and 5 is not honoring this condition that 5 is not lesser than 4 then what i have to do then i have to do my second logic where i have to actually merge the intervals now how do we do this so like i said whenever we are merging what we are seeing is we take the minimum of the start pointers so among 3 and 4 which is minimum 3 and then we take the maximum among the end pointers so end pointer of this interval and the new interval which is greater 8 and then we merge it so this is the reason when we if you go to this example over here we were when we are merging 1 and 3 we were taking the minimum of the intervals between 2 and 1 minimum is 1 and the maximum of the end pointer so among 3 and 5 maximum was 5 so that's the logic which we have to do to merge it so now 3 and 5 and 4 and 8 these two are merged So what is our new interval now? It is no longer four to eight. It is three to eight. So this is the new interval which I have to consider going forward. So I'm also done with this. Now the question is, shall I add three to eight in the output? No, because we do not know if any other intervals down the line also needs to be merged to this. Because if we add it to the output, we have lost that interval. So now this is the new interval that we got. Now this with this new interval, we have to recheck our rest of the intervals. that whether we need to merge it or whether we don't need to merge so remember this first condition what we were checking is already over now the second condition is we have to take a decision how to merge it i'll come to the logic part of this in a while because until we see that or visualize that it will be hard to understand the logic of merging so now 3 to 8 and 6 to 7 is compared is 7 less than 3 it is not so this again needs to be merged so what is the condition for this to be merged we take the minimum of this and we take the maximum of this so it is going to be Three and eight again. So minimum. So if you have already booked a room from three to eight and six to seven is another slot, it is falling within it. So six to seven is cancelled. This is my new interval again. It's anyway the same. Next we come to eight to ten and three to eight. Next if is ten less than three, it is not. So now we need to merge it. What we take is the minimum is three, which is the maximum three to ten. So if a room is booked from three p.m. to eight p.m. and you need another slot from 8 to 10 they are not mutually exclusive because 
it's like uh, yeah they're not mutually exclusive so this is going to be the new interval so i'll cancel this out and this next coming to this now this becomes a little tricky why is it tricky we see that 16 is definitely greater than 3 okay uh, but uh, okay this was anyway given in 24 hour format so we could have assumed all these numbers before 12 was in am and again after from 12 it becomes pm right so now 16 is definitely less than 3 here if we apply this logic of taking the minimum what do we get 3 and if you take the maximum 16 which means you have to book the room from 3 pm sorry from 3 am to 4 pm or 16 16 denotes in 24 hour 4 pm but is it needed that's the question. Is it really needed? It is not needed because 3 a.m. to 10 a.m. is one slot. Here, the number changes. It's 12 p.m. to 16. So even though it appears that 16 is like greater than 3, but this is not always applicable because these two are non-overlapping intervals. And we were trying to merge something which are anyway non-overlapping by just checking this condition. So that is the reason I told that the logic to merge. Here, the first logic is of course going to be checking if this number, the end pointer with the start of the new interval, which is fine. And we'll keep on doing this. If it is true, then we are going to add to the output. If it is lesser, we'll add to the output. If it is greater, we will merge it. We'll come to this. So the logic to merge should be, if the number, which is the start pointer of this, okay, so if ARR of the row and the zero if this is lesser than the new intervals end only then you have to only then merge it so this condition over here it actually should be less than equal to yeah so coming back to the thing over here that how do we say this c12 the start over here is actually not lesser than the end pointer of this 12 is greater than 10. In the earlier scenarios, wherever we were trying to merge, always this number was lesser than what we already had at the end. Only if this is lesser, then only it will be in continuation. Over here, 12 was clearly greater than the end of this. Wherever your new interval is ending, if that number is smaller than the new in the other intervals starting point, then they are mutually exclusive, like 1 to 2, 3 to 4. It will be something like you already have 3 to 4 and you want to insert 1 to 2. But we see that 3 is already greater than 2. So in that case, 1 to 2 and 3 to 4 are not in, they are in continuation, but they are not overlapping. So 3 to 10 and 12 to 16 are two different disjoint intervals. They are not overlapping. So that is the reason our condition over here to merge is slightly different, where we are checking the start pointer of the interval that is in consideration and the end pointer of the new interval. The start pointer should always be less than equal to. Then only if it is a case of an overlap where, where it falls in between. Otherwise, they are too disjoint. So in that way, 3 to 16 will not be our new interval. So in this case, what will happen? 3 to 10 was our last interval. So 3 to 10 needs to be added to our output. Because now this it failed the check with 12 to 16. So 12 to 16 was separate, 3 to 10 was separate. So what are we left with? Now, anyway, at the end in the output array, we have to add whatever is remaining in our initial interval array. So in this way, we are getting these three output. If we check it, the output is 1 to 2, 3 to 10, 12 to 16. 1 to 2, 3 to 10, 12 to 16. So in this way, we have done a dry run as well as a visualization of what is happening and the conditions which is going to, and the main conditions which is going to be part of this logic. And the main condition which we need to write for this, the code is already available in the GitHub. So please check out the description for the code. Thank you so much for watching.